Well, I want to bring good news to you, Jack Perkins, and to you, Douglas Kiker. The ratings are up in Dallas. Well, they are, as a matter of fact. Terrific. That's, yeah, terrific. that's all right. But the most JR hopeful... would never last. I knew that from the beginning. <laughs> Especially in Texas. You people hate that show. <laughs> I know you do. No, but the real <laughs> good news I want to bring to you is the most hopeful thing I can say to you. Do you all realize that Angie Dickinson admits she is dating Harry Reisner? Does that just... That's encouraging for Harry Reisner. It doesn't help Doug Kiker. It doesn't help me. Well, but it does. It does? Why, of course. It means, you know, newsmen are coming Harry Reisner with ABC. <laughs> it, is it with ABC now? Or is it one of those networks out there. I don't, I don't know. know. Those are the <laughs> <laughs> well, that means that newsmen are now allowed to date beautiful stars. Yeah, yeah. How about that? Well, then, oh, that but I'm just, I'm just an old news person. And he's a married man. <laughs> a married man with a lot of kids, folks. <laughs> That's all right. I, I'm a married woman. No kids, but a married woman. <laughs> So anyway, I just wanted well, I just wanted to start out with that. I'm saying that woman on Hill Street Blues, that's the prettiest woman on television. Veronica Hamill. We or allowed the other to one. date people like that. Mm. Our, we 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 our time we were born too late in this world, Parkinson. Never, <laughs> never too late. <laughs> I was born later than you. Never too late. Also, I want to to ask you now to be a, a little less frivolous. David You address that question. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I handle frivol, he handles serious. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Whenever you get around, want a frivol, well, let me know. In the meantime, you folks it's, can... You want to know about the budget cuts? No, no, no. no. I don't think it's no joke. David Brinkley went across the street. It's no joke. No joke. No joke, And we're sad about it. Uh, a dear friend to Jack and me, uh, we both worked with him, and he taught us for, I mean, years and years. Uh, yeah, he left. And I tell you, a couple of weeks ago, Doug Kiker and David Brinkley and I st stood at about two in the morning out in the street right beside this hotel. With our arms around, arms each, other around each other, crying our eyes out, the three of us. He yeah, really we is. Miss a, him. We miss yeah. him like crazy. But he's gone, and the, the four of us, and we think we've got a good show. Did you see it coming? Did either of you anticipate that David was going to leave? I certainly no. didn't. No. Did you, did you, were you aware that he was unhappy? Uh, yes, uh, this was more and more, David, I think, came to think that the magazine show was not his milieu, that he really was happier doing what he was not doing any longer at NBC. Uh, and I just think things got out of hand a little bit. I don't really know the story. We, uh, we're sorry that he left. Uh, I feel as if a, a great force in my life has been removed, a professional force. Uh, we are still the closest of friends. We live five minutes from each other. Our wives are good friends, and he'll be my friend until the rest of my life. But uh, he's gone, and this show goes on, and we hope we'll be as good as it was when he was on it. We think that it is. We're doing our best, and uh, we think we're presenting a good show, which we hope that uh, people of Dallas will watch Central Time at 7 on Friday evening. We hope the people of Fort Worth will watch also. Yes. Let's, let's not, yes. let's not let's forget, not forget Fort area. Worth. That's right. <laughs> okay. Um, Jack, do you think, had the network scheduled, made the schedule change in NBC Magazine, in other words, uh, you're no longer pitted against Dallas, if they had made that schedule change, would it have mattered to David? Might he have stayed? I don't know. I, I, don't, I mean, I don't, I don't know what David's considerations would have been in that. And I don't know how to figure what you're up against and all that, all those show business aspects of it. I, I really can't figure that. Well, we run against some you roller can't, derby you know, now. You, you can't. <laughs> you can't, <laughs> you can't I can't figure what makes shows work. Obviously, there are a lot of people in television who can't figure what makes shows work and what makes them not work. Uh, so all we can do is do the best stories we can, and that's all we would do anywhere anyhow, because that's all we, that's all we want to do. Another thing I want to ask you about, there's a lot of talk about nightly news going to the hour format. Mm -hmm. It's getting, our station, our manager is all for it and is, is a big it? supporter yeah, of it. That's yes, terrific. But he is not the majority of affiliate. I mean, he does nope. not represent the A lot of them don't want to do it. I hope that eventually it will be done. We have 22 minutes now to tell you what happened all over the world. Uh, then we'd have 44. There's an old story at NBC that the fact that if the Ten Commandments were handed down today, that you'd heard, heard David Brinkley say, good evening. This morning, Moses came down from the mountaintop with ten commandments from the Lord God Almighty. Hear now a report on three of the most important. <laughs> <laughs> with an hour, maybe we could give you a report on, on six of the most important. 
<laughs> and stay tuned for NBC News update for that biggie on adultery. I, you know, yeah. <laughs> which, which NBC Entertainment will take and spin off into a series. <laughs> but the, the, you do wonder if, if in an hour, on a slow news day, and let's be honest, gentlemen, there are slow news days. Sure. Okay. Sure. On a slow news day, if we aren't just going to bore the hell out. But you know what a slow news day allows you to do? It allows you to look at some of the stories that you haven't been able to do because of all the Russian crush of all the sirens medicine around around the world. The only time we really report on medicine is when a huge new medical breakthrough comes. But uh, the field of medicine alone and what's happening there is largely ignored because, you know, the world is so fast and things are coming at you. With that extra half hour, we could go into that. There are millions of subjects that the nightly news just simply doesn't have time to, to take up. We try to do it with the special segments, as, it, as they're called, but that's still not enough time. And isn't it true, at, I know it is in, in our shop, but it would be even more so in a network operation, where um, some stories that are done, that are good, just never get on, mm -hmm. simply because they get pushed back and back and back and back. And then they get outdated, that's and right. then they're dated. And stories like that take time. Well, I mean, you wouldn't have to double the nightly news staff when you went to an hour. You'd almost have to quadruple it. To get those stories that last seven, eight minutes that you could maybe jam into that hour show, you're talking about investing weeks and sometimes months, as we do on, on NBC Magazine. Sure. But everybody hopes it happens. It'll be a hard fight. And if we go to an hour, the other two networks will. And I think that's where it'll stick for the next 20, 30 years, perhaps. So you think it's a good idea, Jack? Our news. How long is your newscast at KXAS, your local newscast? All right, we do news at 5 to 5.30, and then we have you guys 5.30 yeah. to 6, and 6 to 6.30, and then, of course, again, late at night. So, so you, do, you do an hour in the early evening mm -hmm. uh, on the events around your local area and state. Well, uh, And a lot of feature stuff in the 5 o'clock. Okay. So there's an awful lot more world to cover for a, a national newscast, and if you can use locally an hour... Network newscaster. Let me tell you something, Bobby. When the networks went from 15 minutes to half hour back, what was it, 1966, 65 or 66, they thought that they would give the news in 15 minutes, and then they would have little mini documentaries to fill up the next 15 minutes, because 15 minutes was all it took to tell the news of the world. And, and they thought that they would have spots that would run four minutes and five minutes. Well, the fact is, is that that half hour news now, a minute and a half report is a long report, and a lot of reports simply have to be left out or reduced to a sentence because there's not enough time. So we would fill an hour. Don't worry. That's what's happening to us. We're running out of time. And in our <laughs> business, you know, it's uh, the challenge we face every day is to tell war and peace in a minute 30. <laughs> Quick and it. dirty, minute 30. Okay. You got it. <laughs> Good to see you both. Thank Bobby, you. Bobby, thank you. Come thank to you, Texas. Bobby.